My name's Barry Scollo. I'm director of tennis and head coach of Team Bath. We're an international high performance centre that runs from mini tennis all the way through to senior professional players. The sports training village is where we're kind of located. We have eight indoor tennis courts, eight outdoor tennis courts and two clay courts. We also have outstanding sports science facilities, a 50 metre swimming pool, a fantastic gym which is about the size of four tennis courts and all the support services that go with that. The players have complete access to all of this all year round. We really enjoy it. Good team. Yeah, all the coaches are all good friends as well. They just want the best rise. Some of the uh, coaches I could call my family. But everyone gets along well. There's a fantastic team of coaches that have lots of national and international experience. We have a good, a good squad, a good environment, and it's, um, it's not just the, the performance player and their results. It's a whole picture. It's the education is vital. We're part of a university. We partner with two very, very good schools. And the holistic development of, of a player and a child is, is vital to us. It's not just about producing good players. It's about producing some, some good human beings that are gone and to be successful in any number of areas. Everyone's going to be really friendly and the players who you hit with, you're going to get a good standard of tennis. The facilities has got everything you want there. If you want to move away from home, you can live with a family that's nice and knit close by and you can make new friends. The coach-athlete relationship is vital. You have to be quite flexible and, and obviously some are outgoing, some are a bit quieter, some you know, react differently to different situations and the coach needs to be ready and adaptable. I think there's a massive job to be done in terms of mentoring and tutoring and kind of giving advice to a young teenager or an older teenager for that matter. Coaches recognise that and have good experience with it. If they do that well off the court, you often find the performances on the court improve as well. The junior programme essentially runs from the mini tennis from five or six years old through to 11 years old before they either go into a club recreational pathway or a performance pathway and they, they start to access the academy. With the mini tennis it goes from mini red, orange and green as they go through the different compression balls and start to develop their skills. Mainly my role is obviously you know directing the program and as head coach I oversee all the squads and planning of sessions of the day. The coach's priorities and captain's priorities are really to do the goal setting, work with the players on the court, um, work with them individually, work with them in squads, go to matches and tournaments with them. That's their priority and then also linking with the physio and Alex, the strength and conditioning coach, to get the best for the players. It's a good group of athletes and, and tennis players and the, the the coaching team and support staff as well that work very well together so it's nice to be part of kind of a, you know, a good a good team as a whole. We often have post post match uh, like a debrief, um, which is good. And, and and effectively, you know, performance sport is about changing behaviour. You know, and, and even even improving from from the morning to the afternoon, or improving from week to week. And that's the coach's job. And watching and charting and analysing matches, you can improve things very quickly. And it's important to sit down and after a win or a loss have a talk and, and see how they can improve things. It's a vital part of the programme, and you get to know your player very well that way as well. Colin Rich. Here we go, Gavel. Right, shot. Sweat game. Right? Okay. Yeah, they have long days. Pretty good relationship. <laughs> long days. Longer than us, I think. I definitely couldn't watch tennis all day. Oh, no. Couldn't watch it. I can play it actually all day, no. and that'd be quite tough. But I want to be a tennis player. <laughs> yeah, maybe not, not, maybe not all day, every day. But the odd day off. <laughs> the odd day off in a year. Yeah, sometimes we go out the weekends or at night. Sessions finish about six. You can meet up and go out. I like to be in bed early. Usually I'm pretty focused on the tennis. Yeah, it was first time playing there. Did well on first round. There was a lot of positive from that. I learned, learned from it. We recognise a lot of support from the Lawn Tennis Association and very good funding. Team Bath, the University and the LTA make a very good, strong partnership with all these departments backing it up. 
just attain this international high performance status, which you know recognises all the hard work of the staff as well, which is which is really good. Join Team Bath Tennis Academy, truly, for the banter and the tennis. I love it. <laughs>